Good morning and happy Easter everyone. I am Miss Corrine and I have my lovely daughter with me, Miss Peyton. Good morning. And we have a very special Easter Sabbath story time for you. This is called The Easter Story Egg and it is written and illustrated by Natalie Ard. And here is the egg. So Peyton is going to take apart each layer of the egg as we get to that part in the story. And we hope that you enjoy it and that you have a beautiful Easter. All right. <clears throat> Why do we celebrate Easter? And what does it really mean? Is it the bright colored eggs in baskets or the beginning of a flower filled spring? Easter is a time of beginnings and a time of fresh new starts. It's a time for us to remember the true King in our hearts. It's a time for us to thank Him. It's a season for us to praise, to celebrate the Lord our God who knows each one of our days. Yet, Easter is much more than just one single day. It's the celebration of life. It's Resurrection Day. This egg tells the story of the world's most holy week, and it serves as a reminder of the hope and love we seek. Let this egg bring you closer to the man we all, we call God's son. Because Jesus gave his life for us, it is through him our salvation was won. The Easter story egg will start the day Jesus rode into town and finish with the amazing day his body could not be found. Each smaller story egg will tell the importance of each day. Remember our Lord Jesus, give thanks to him, and pray. All right, here we go. Palm Sunday. Jesus traveled to Jerusalem, 70 miles at least. His friends came along to help him celebrate the Passover feast. As Jesus got closer to town, what in the world did he see? The people had covered the road with palm branches from a tree. In he rode on his donkey. He came in the name of the Lord. When Jesus made this humble entrance, the crowd cheered and roared. The people had heard of his miracles. They longed to hear what he'd say. They waited with excitement. Their clothing paved his way. The people shouted, Hosanna! They cried, please save us now! They wanted him to be their king. They all knelt down and bowed. On Palm Sunday, Remember, our Lord Jesus is the King. Praise Him for all His goodness and the hope He always brings. This Sunday story egg reminds us how Jerusalem honored God's Son. He is the vine and we are the branches. Through Him our victory is won. Mark chapter 11 verse 9 Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Sunday. All right, House of Prayer Monday. Go ahead. All right, let's put this here. Oops. All right, just like that. Can you see it? Okay. All right, House of Prayer Monday. Jesus came into the temple. Jerusalem's house of prayer. He was surprised by all the people and upset by what he found there. There were lots of buyers and sellers. It had become a marketplace. The temple used to be holy, but now it was a disgrace. Jesus knocked over the tables and he sent the sellers away. The temple was God's house, so he cleaned it out that day. The priests did not like him. They were afraid of his teachings. He threatened their authority. People liked Jesus preaching. The priests had seen his miracles. He healed the blind and lame. They watched the children praise him. For him, the people came. The leaders started planning. Jesus had made a mess. They now had a reason to blame him. Surely he would confess. 
When you see this Monday story egg, think of God's house of prayer. Remember the amazing miracles and the teachings that he shared there. Matthew chapter 21 verse 13. It is written, he said to them, my house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. So there's Monday. All right, Tuesday. Pretty. All right, Teacher of Love Tuesday. Jesus knew what he needed to do. He went back to the temple. He taught the good news of God, and a crowd began to assemble. Jesus taught his followers from morning until night. He taught them truth and obedience. He showed them wrong from right. He taught them with the scriptures, read from the Lord's book. He taught them through his stories about how the world could look. He taught them the greatest commandment, life's most valued goal. Love the Lord with all your heart. Love him with your soul. He taught them to love their neighbors just as they love themselves to care for the poor and needy, and those not like ourselves. The Pharisees asked hard questions. Each tried their tricky best. If his answers were not lawful, they could lead to his arrest. Jesus knew that they were sneaky, yet he answered with the truth. He answered questions with love. He gave the priests no proof. Let this Tuesday story egg show how Jesus taught us love. Remember you are cherished by your Father up above. 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Give and Take Wednesday All right, a woman came to the house of Simon and she brought a beautiful jar filled with expensive perfume, her most treasured possession by far. She poured the perfume on Jesus, covering him with love. She showed this act of giving, honoring her father up above. The disciples were upset with her. They confused her giving with greed. She could have given to the poor and others who were in need. Jesus replied with gentleness. His words would help them see. You always have the poor to help, but you will not always have me. On this very same confusing day, Jesus decided to take, sorry, Judas decided to take 30 pieces of silver, payment for plans he would make. Judas's plan led the priests to find Jesus the very next day. This was an act of betrayal, and for this act, he would be paid. She gave her best to Jesus, a kind and unselfish deed. He took the priests to our Savior, knowing where this act would lead. They both needed Jesus to show them how to live, to guide them in decisions, should they take or should they give? As they look at the Wednesday story egg, as you look at the Wednesday story egg every day when you awake, choose to honor your holy God with each decision that you make. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Last Supper Thursday. For his very last supper, Jesus gathered with his friends. They shared a feast, and he explained his time was soon to end. He washed his disciples' feet with a servant's heart. He would love his friends until the end, although they soon would part. Beautiful. I am the way and the truth and the life. Come to the Father through me. He promised to send the Holy Spirit 
to live in us for eternity. He taught them to remember him by eating bread and drinking wine. He told them he would be betrayed and by a disciple be denied. He said, Do not be troubled. I will send you peace of knowing. Your sadness will be turned to joy. Come, let us be going. He went out into the garden. To our God he prayed. He pleaded with the Lord that night, Take this cup of suffering away. He knew the time had come. Soldiers were coming soon. He'd be betrayed with a kiss by the light of the evening moon. Jesus was very troubled, but he knew this was the way. The soldiers captured and arrested him, and they led Christ away. Let this Thursday story egg remind us Jesus is the way. Share the good news with your friends, and be thankful every day. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Good Friday. These eggs are getting smaller. Early in the morning, Jesus was bound and led away. He had been charged with lying. The Romans would have their day. Are you the king of Jews? Jesus replied, you said it. Crucifixion would be his punishment. It's God's will, so I accept it. Pilate knew he was innocent and been charged because of envy. Maybe he could save him. Pilate could set one prisoner free. He brought Jesus before the crowd. Shall we let this man go? But the priests had convinced the people. So the people shouted, No. The soldiers were mean to Jesus. They made him wear thorns as a crown. He carried his cross to Golgotha. His cross was then placed in the ground. They nailed the Messiah upon it. They hung him there to die. They know not what they are doing, Father. Forgive them, Lord, he cried. This is Jesus, King of the Jews, a sign above him read. It is finished, were the final words that our Savior said. He knew his death would happen, yet the earth began to shake. He paid the price for our sin. He suffered for our sake. As you look at this Friday story egg, see the cross as a symbol of love. It represents everlasting life, a gift from your Father above. John chapter 19, verse 30. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Holy Saturday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jesus had been wrapped in linen and covered in perfume. His friends prepared his body and they laid him in a tomb. Imagine a very large stone, far too heavy to roll away. This rock was placed at the entrance of Jesus' tomb that day. Soldiers were ordered to guard the cave where Jesus laid. He had claimed he would rise again. This made the priests afraid. We will never know of the miracles that happened in his tomb. God was bringing Christ to life. He would rise again very soon. The Lord tells us he is our rock. He gives us unconditional love. He is our strength and fortress. He is our father up above. Hold this Saturday story egg. It looks much like a stone with the Lord Jesus, as your friend, you will never be alone. John chapter 1, verse 9. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. Easter Sunday. I think that's it. Oh, that's right. This one's hard to open. As the new day was dawning, the trees began to sway. An angel of the Lord appeared and rolled the stone away. <laughs> Take it to Daddy.
friends went to visit his tomb. They brought burial spices of plenty, but when they arrived at the cave, they discovered his grave was empty. When his friends entered the tomb, they found burial cloths of linen. He had done just as he had promised. Yes, Jesus had risen. And it's empty. Jesus died for our sins. He paid the ultimate price. Now his kingdom is our present. He has given us eternal life. Sorry. That heavy rock couldn't hold him. Jesus needed to be free. He conquered death to save us. <clears throat> to save both you and me. Let this empty egg remind you of the tomb that was found bare. Although his body is gone, he can be found everywhere. He is in, sorry. He is in the blooming flowers and the emerging butterflies. He is in each and every raindrop and the clouds up in the sky. <clears throat> Easter is Jesus raised from the dead. He is our hope and joy, our life's daily bread. Jesus arose from the grave. To him be glorified, for Jesus has arisen. Yes, Jesus is alive. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. That is our beautiful Easter story egg. Don't know if you can see all this detail. It is a beautiful egg. And here's the stone. And then when you empty the stone, it is empty. We wish you a wonderful, beautiful Easter filled with the spirit of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and our Big Brother. And we say Happy Easter and have a beautiful day. Thank you.